Hey guys, welcome back to Kim's Making Games. In today's video, we are going to learn how to attach GD scripts to our character and how to move him around as you can see in the video. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. All right, so go to we made a warrior, click on warrior. Now we are going to use this warrior as our player so go to the new animation and we are going to rename it run sounds this animation i think i can call it a side swing look like a very beautiful swing on the side so a side swing is perfect this one is an upper swing i think so i'm going to name something like side underscore swing up I think yeah it's swinging up the sword so yeah then this one we rename it as down swing because the character is facing down I guess this one is a down swing as the previous one but a down swing from the left to the right so I'm going to call it down underscore swing underscore again and we're gonna add left all right this animation is a swing on top so i think i'm gonna call it upper underscore swing and this one is almost similar to the first one, it's just the swing is going from the right to the left, upper swing, underscore again, and I'm going to call it right. You can rename this animation as you wish, because as for me, I think they are more easy for me to remember like this. They are very easy, so I'm going to rename also the down swing as down swing right, because the sword going from the left to the right, so yeah. Go back to idle sound very great we are going to disable all this other animation on loop playing so go to the side swing side swing up and click on loop and disable it we are going to disable for all the other animation we are going only to keep for idle and run animation all right now go to the first Go to project project setting go to input map then we are going to add some keys so we start with up left right and down i guess yes we need a down and maybe an attack so we are going to attach some input keys to this key you click on the plus sign and you press the upper up stick on your keyboard do the same for the left and come to ok down you use the down key ok and for the attack i'm going to use the space button on the keyboard and press ok and close it now we have an input key map set the game go to warrior we are going to attach a script to it so click on that small icon so this is how you attach a script. We are going to add a character body to the basic movement. And you're going to inread character body to studio. We are going to call in GD script. That means Godot script, which is very similar to Python. I could use the node default empty, but I'm going to leave everything that it is by default. Nothing more than click on create. All right. This is how it looks. A GD script screen. So we are going to remove all of this. Just select them up to this comment, then remove it. All right. Now we are going to change also this one. We remove it. And for our speed, we don't want a constant, but we are going to use a variable. So I'm going to write var sound very nice all right now we have a variable speed go to anim 
drag and drop it then before you left press control on the keyboard nice i'm going to explain you why i did that action all right now i'm going to add another variable var then we need an acceleration acceleration i need my player to accelerate and don't start on the maximum speed directly and i'm going to put it on 50 for now let's add another variable and we are going to call it idle and it should be equal to true sound very great we have a variable idle this variable going to variable speed again we are going to add some things we are going to add in our our bus exports go to acceleration do the same edge and export export var this export uh, give us the possibility of changing this speed and acceleration directly from the inspector as you can see here we have just two variable exported we can change it to 200 and the game will change but I prefer to keep it on 300 for now but as you can see also we can change directly from the script sound very great but we are not going to keep these values as we are going to change them later so now we are going to go to physics process then down here we are going to add a variable direction let's get the direction from the keyboard now when we are pressing the keyboard we need to get so those directors so we are going to use a function called vector2 then it should be equal to open open the brackets input dot get underscore vectors okay we are going to get the input map and we get the vector so we are going to add as you can already see left after left comma we are going to add a right comma again we are going to add up for our player to go up and i guess the last one we are going to add also a down perfect all right now that we have our variable direction we can now try to move our character then before that we need to add a scripture for him to move so to add a comment put a hashtag player movements down here we are going to the velocity dots x is equal to move move towards and into the brackets we are going to add our variables so that we can move our players so first variable we're going to use is our property velocity.x the actual velocity of the player that means its position on the screen we are going to add the speeds but the speed is going to be multiplied by the direction and the last things we are going to add is a act direction don't forget to add direction.x then we are going to add an acceleration acceleration we can already press it as it seems we are going to rename the speed let's make the error we can put an uppercase and this on lowercase there are some basics of codings we are going to copy this line control plus c and down below control plus v and we are going to replace all this x by a y for our player to move up and down on this axis as you can see the velocity dot x is for the movement on the x axis and the velocity dot y is for the velocity movement upon the y-axis so we are going to try this let's launch the game now we can see we move up and down but 
up and down but we don't play any animation as you can see our player our, our knights still playing the same animation is still on idle animation close this and we are going to fix it all right now what we are going to add is animations i guess so for us to add our animation we're going a little bit down here let's add the comments I use comments to remind me on which part of my codes I put everything. Let's say for player movement, I remember if I have to correct something. So on player movement, I just go on player movement and change the code. So for player animation, we are going to use a condition if the input, oh, sorry, input, oh my god, input, I don't know what happened to my keyboard, input is action just pressed open the brackets let's change this first by an uppercase okay input is action just pressed open the brackets if the action is left at the semi at the now we are going to put an action to this condition. What we are going to do is to idle equal to false. So that means a variable idle is equal to false. That means let's first copy this one and we are going to make for the other full input case. So Duplicate again. We need four of them, so we have left. Now we go to left and change it to right. And we go to chain for up. And down. All right. Seems very great. But as for now, it doesn't change anything in our animation. Now we are going to add some things. Below this line, anim. that's why I needed to drag and drop that anim node. We're going to anim dot anim animation equal to run. That's how you call an animation in Godot. Don't forget this line is anim dot animation run copy that line and pass it for all the others movement because we only need to play animation run when we are moving around let's try it out my engine is a little bit slow today I don't know why but let's try again run the game now as you can see when i'm moving my player is still playing that animation but it doesn't come back to the idle animation that's another missing part in our code but we are going to fix it very very soon okay now go back to this animation sprite click on anim i'm going to share some things go to transform no transform offset yes so we need our player to turn left and right as you can see when you enable and disable flip edge the player face left and right side we are going to use this property in our coding path so go to the script and the next line on our next line we are going to use anim again dots flip edge flip underscore edge is equal to true that means we are going to enable when you press left key means our player going to face left now we are going to copy that line and pass it for all the others all right save it again try it again 
All right, now our player can turn left, but does not turn right anymore. I think I made a very shitty mistake. Oh, my bad. I think I made a little mistake in my code. So, first of all, when he's placing left, it's true, but when he's facing the right, the flip edge become false. All right, then we don't need it for the player when he's up or when he's pressing down. All right, I think that the things. So run the game again. Now you can see our player can move left and right facing the respective direction. We need to change some things. Is we need our player to play back the idle animation. So first of all, let's change the speed to a smaller one. So we put the speed to ten and the acceleration to ten also. Now, let's move down. We are going to add a player idle state. This player animal uh, idle state is going to play the idle animation only if the player does not receive any inputs directives if we don't press any key. So our player should play that animation. So we are going to add else if in your condition. If our idle variable is equal to true, that means our player is in the idle states that mean we don't press any key if we don't press any key that mean our player is not moving at all so we are going also to check if the velocity dot x is equal to zero we are just using a double equal for the for the condition part and we are going to check also if the velocity dot y is also equal to zero so in this condition let's anim dot animation will be equal to idle that the whole point of this condition so when the player does not move at all and does not receive any input key is going to play the animation idle very great Go to warrior. I do not want to rename it, so go to warrior, right click, added a child node. We are going to look for a timer. This is the timer that we need. Now on the timer, go and change the wait time to 0 0.5 and enable auto start. Now, after that, go to node. We are going to attach a signal. Timeout. What is a signal? A signal is like a recall, I can say. When the time is out for this node, is going to call it. So we are going to attach it. So our script is like a function. It will be called every time the 0 0.5 second will be finished, I can say. Or the time will be out. Okay, so on timer, timeout, we are going to change this idle variable to true. That means every time we left our key, whether it's up, down, right or left, it will change idle to true again. All right, now that's a game. Sound very great. All right, guys, I think we have reached the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and share it to your friends. Thank you for supporting this games making game channel. Thank you. See you very soon for the next video.